it needs a little trimming but once you get up there you know you can trim the model there we go now I'm gonna remove some of this uh, it around it's a little too sensitive no actually I put it back and got it once you get up there you know just lower the power and and the thing with ultralights of this type is that they don't like a lot of torque you know you you want to have the speed there it's a little windy but and it needs to be a little bit nose heavier than what it is right now it has a tendency to pitch up a little bit well that that can be remedied with the uh, other battery this is the uh, 3000 milliamp hour three cell and it's lighter much lighter than the 5000 milliamp hour four cell that I initially was going to install and, and fly up a little speed and just because it's an ultralight does not mean that this is a park flyer and by that I mean you know a park flyer you can cut down the the throttle and come down uh, a little bit easier than this you know this has uh, some you know these are three four five pound models and they do need a little bit of uh, speed and, and throttle you, know, you got to land with power so you got to keep that in mind, you know, don't cut down the power completely if you want to land this model. Let's see if I can pull that. No, it won't flip. Okay, this is what, what I'm saying here. You got to come with a little bit of power here as you're landing. Now I'm going to try flaps here just to see what happens. Flaps are engaged. Okay, it's flying a little bit slower. I don't want to fly too slow because oh, I need to pick up speed here. Okay, the battery's low. Oh, oh the battery's coming down. All right, low battery. You got to anticipate for those things. You want to come down with power, reserve power, so you don't end up crashing. Or, I mean, the model's pretty, pretty sturdy. Okay, so let's go change the battery. It's a good flight with a three-cell um, graphene, 3,000 milliamp hour battery. I hope my camera is still rolling. Okay, the 5,000 milliamp hour battery is installed. And, uh, it does have a little more weight to it. Make sure we connect this again so the ESC will arm. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, I'm just gonna hold the model and just to get a, a, an idea of power here. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's got a lot of power. Oh yeah, much better. It's definitely the power that it needs. Okay. Oh yeah. Flaps are engaged. There's no danger there because we have uh, plenty of power on this uh, combination of uh, battery and prop. Remove the flaps. See if we can do a loop here. Let's pick it up a little bit higher. There we go. about to put the wings inside my car. I brought the model all assembled in the back of my car. It's got a hatchback so I stuck it and it was a little a little too tight so just taking it back home I decided to remove the wings and as I was doing my uh, on my cell phone here uh, there are two points here where these struts connect to the side here if you leave these flaps or these tabs or these p-clips open on one side of the tab you can disconnect this connect it and disconnect like that when the wing is under tension that's not going anywhere and it's pretty safe and it's real easy to disconnect it like that there are three points on, my, on this particular wing that i have here through these braces and i remove the uh, screws here i'm about to remove this third one here from uh, and all you have to do is just remove one side i don't want to lose that knot here put those knots back on the screw come on baby and that's it and then the wing just pulls right out like that there are two snaps also right here on the side that snap like that if you leave these snaps uh, as a snappable and of course we have to disconnect the, the servos the connections to the ailerons two wires there and that comes out just like that and you can transport it. It's a matter of uh, a few minutes to do this. It doesn't take too long. And uh, that's how you transport the model back and forth. So once again, this is Mario with MIA Microflight. I hope you liked the video that I just did with this model. I'm gonna take it home and it's got a, it needs a little tweaking here on the motor. I'm gonna change the motor because this is uh, not, not quite the motor for this model. Uh, it's not the motor that I sell these kits with. It's a motor that I had installed originally and uh, it's, I think it's gone through its its life, uh, so I'll be installing a new motor there. And this is a nine by four or five, I believe, prop. I love these props; they work excellent with the, uh, three and four cell uh, light bulbs. So let's go home. Stick the car back inside here, and if it's uh, very nice, take the wings, 
put them there and that's it thanks for watching